Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Music Monday. We are super excited for Murder Work Click Takeover in April. If you guys don't already know, we got some amazing talent that we're going to bring to you here on your favorite Music Monday night. Oh my God, look below the screen. Could it be JCP in the cut? Not sure. But before we do any of that, you already know what time it is. Let's get Mike familiar on the stage. What's up, my boy? What's good? JCP, you did this? And that's his tag. Um, we are in this bitch like yeah. rules and regulation. Um, Murderworth, Click, Irek Savage, What's good, JCP, Ginger Jesus, Kizwato the Human. Let's go! That's what we're at right Facebook now. Not, welcome to Music Mondays, hosted by the fantastic Dahlia Turnbull, co-hosted by Mike Familiar, a.k.a. The Thinker, and Irek Savage, the man with two plans and two aces up his sleeve. I'm none other than JCP in the cup. Much, much obliged to be on the Owl show with my good friends and family, representing Murderworth Click. MWC mm. Takeover April, baby. Fuck March Madness is April Woo! Sadness. Oh, is it like, yeah, we don't ah, March Madness no more, man. Like, if you ah, haven't already, yeah, be sure to share the link. Things are going to get mighty hyphy up in here. We got personality on personality on personality disorder, and that's why we're going to make some order to it. Okay. Junkyard Dog. It's me, baby. Junkyard Dog. Shout out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If you guys don't know, it's time to get crunk. Share the link, por favor. We want as many heads here as possible because this is where you're going to ask your homie any question you want. Any okay? question. Whoop -de -dee. Uh, any Ow! Oh, God, my fog machine just shot on me. Ow. Okay. Um. So are you wanting everyone to hear your music or I should just give us a little brief and then we'll go into the first song? Let's, let's do some brief and then the first song. Do what about boxers? Thing. <laughs> you voted off the casting crew, bro. JCP is the guy. Why don't you tell us who is JCP in the cut? JCP in the cut, you say? Well, that happens to be a man mm -hmm. with many talents and a lot on his mind. But what I specialize in is engineering, production, making music uplifting other souls, inspiring people, and I also edit video. Yeah, man of many talents right there. <laughs> I cook Claymore. some bomb Claymore, food, did too. You get your I cook some bomb food. food, too. Hashtag in Ferris. Be chefing? Be, be cooking be up? Be chefing. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Ramsey. Chefing. Um... Okay, now that I have your attention, I'm the type to just go big with it. Uh, tell us a little bit about Beautiful Night Drive over here with uh, our fabulous Irex Savage. So Beautiful Night Drive, this was a song, what is this, two years in the making now, Irex? Yeah, it's going on like a year and a half, too, almost, yeah. Yeah, so we had had that, I had had a demo recorded and uh, I had sent it to Irex, but we recently... Uh, like repurposed the song and like redid it because we didn't have my vocals because like about a year and a half ago all of my files got deleted because my hard drives got fried I like power <laughs> surge all gone all my music how'd you fry all, the hard drive how'd you fry the hard drive how'd you fry the hard drive you fried the hard drive fried the hard drive how I didn't do it on purpose it's just oh, what yeah. happens it was that time it was that time, yeah. Yeah, the tracks were too fire. They were too good, and uh, Irek sent this to me maybe like what? What was it like three or four weeks ago? And he was like, "What can we uh, work with this?" And I was like, "I got to re-record this song." So he sent me his vocals and the beat, and I re-recorded my verse. I had to write down all the lyrics individually because I didn't have the lyrics no more. And then I re-recorded <laughs> it, and then uh, engineered the song. Sent it over to Irec. It was the very first version, and he was like, "This is good, good. This is good for yeah. me." When I die, my five hard drives go with me. Oh, burn my hard drives! I read that all wrong. Damn, <laughs> kids, like you ain't getting none of the music. It's mine. <laughs> no, 
My, my, hey, man, I lost my mom and she took all her recipes with her. You think I don't think about that? Hey, man, damn, she, man. She ain't got a, a Word document somewhere? Goddamn. She was a Scorpio. She don't do that. She's like, it's in here. I got no recipe. Okay, so Irek, tell us a little bit about this song as well, People When I Drive. Uh, the homie Arrow sent his beat like, yo, I can hear you on this. And I was like, yo, I love this. And then when I listen to it, it makes me think of like dark blues and night and purple and like driving in a car at night. So I was like, oh shit. And the beat was already named Beautiful Night Drive. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. And then I just wrote a song to it. And then I was like, I'm lazy. I don't want to write this song all the way. I need somebody else on it with me. And I was like, JCP can kill this. And then I hit him up. And then you were like, had to take a trip out the house. <laughs> Play it. Okay, here we go. If we can mute the fuck up, we're about to play. Mute your mics. Night drive. Mute your mics. You know I whipped out, had to take a trip out the house in the dress. Yeah, they just walked out. Been in the game, yeah, I see some rails. Yeah, I had to make some friends. Yeah, I had to be some clowns. Falling fools go shoot. Should've took the main route instead of the back roads. Ain't no shortcuts when I roll. Big blunts help me take the brunt of society's slumps. So I hit the road with gas in the trunk. I had to hit it with the window down, sister loud. So you know they looked around, yeah, they looked around. What I saw was the nightlife when I hit the town. When I hit the town, saw some bright lights when I fucked around. Everybody I know go for blows like it's going down. Everybody I know see us blow when we in the town. When we hit your town Windows roll down and the smoke blows out Yeah, yeah, we in the business cause we won't back down We gon' show out crowds with the chant so loud Off the gas so bound We some titans wearing crowns We gon' pick it up and move it We gon' shift around and groove it You can sleep, we with the movement We be dripping, speakers booming And the sneakers cleaner At the roundabout in life And we just trying to hit the ceiling I be dancing by myself I be anxious, can't you tell I be waking in the noon I'll be howling at the moon when I'm tripping off a drone. You know that I'm out the room. We be grinding you a silver spoon. Out my mind, and we just find out to bless the stage. Young mind, old souls trying to flip the page. And it's stage, I be shining rays. Yeah, smoking till I'm gone. Please just leave me alone. When we hit the function, we the brightest in the zone. Brightest in the zone, zone. I had to hit it with the window down, sister loud. So you know they look through. Yeah, they looked around. What I saw was the nightlife when I hit the town. When I hit the town, saw some bright lights when I fucked around. Everybody I know go for blows like it's going down. You know, see us blow when we in the town. When we hit your town. Right in the town, uh, uh, shining stars. Nice, uh, nice, uh, harder than a math problem. Harder yeah. than a math problem. I like that. Uh, shout out nice, to Nacho. Just kidding, that. bro. Nice, um, uh, nice touch with the uh, Detroit Metal City clips, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch with that. I was like, when I found this, I said, like, "Oh my God, this works." I'm gonna use yeah. it fucking hilarious show if you know uh that. if you guys haven't already definitely peep that music video beautiful night drive with irex savage featuring jcp in the cut that was a langer it just dropped a couple hours ago too yeah yeah jc penny that is dude. really <laughs> jc penny <laughs> jc penny are you stop. trying like a panic until i'm gone okay let's go with the question uh mike 
How did you decide to get into music? So that is kind of like a long winded answer throughout my whole life. Uh, So my sister had this drum kit when I was young. And when I was like five years old, I would just hop on the jump, the drum kit and jam out. And I always just kind of had a gift musically because my grandma, she's an artist. She's a painter. She wrote music, you know, uh, shout out, shout out grandma death. You feel me? Uh, and, uh, in middle school, I got into band class. Uh, and I started drumming started playing some percussion in band class too. Uh, oh, also, this is, a ma- this is a major point before we get on to band class. Uh, we always had like rhythm games growing up. You know, we had rock band and guitar hero and I would mm. just hop right in on like harder expert, like after not playing for like six months and like put the guitar behind my head and just like shred it up like a guitar solo, hundred percent type beat. And, <laughs> uh, star power type beat star power type beat and then all that and uh when i was in the fifth grade i saved up my weekly allowance to buy a guitar that is now at the sanctuary studios that i never learned how to play but it's a relatively nice guitar and the guy cut us a deal on it um and then in middle school i started drumming and i had a really cool uh band teacher uh And he always encouraged me to like play the drum set and like, you know, experiment with my rhythms and all that kind of stuff. And he was a real, real nice guy. I think his name was, I want to say Mr. Skogie, but I could be wrong. You know, shout out Mr. Skogie. Um, If that's your name. If that's your name. Skogs, straight Skogs. And uh, that's an interesting thing too, because Mr. Skogie also taught my uh, older sister and my older brother in school as well so it was like a little little bit of a oh you're you're a chanley too so yeah um i remember the very first time i hopped on the set and i played a drum fill and i was like oh is that wrong is that bad for the song right and uh mr skogie was like no that's awesome that's called a drum fill bro like you you're doing really good and then (laughs) i remember i played in front of my first crowd in the sixth grade uh for like some band concert i don't remember what it, the occasion was and i was i was rocking i was rocking on the drums hitting the drum fills i was hitting a drum fill every you know like two seconds i was just like yeah that's the shit man skogster the skogster yeah shout out mr skogster i can't say it i can't Skogster, no. Skogster. Oh, you got me fucking up. Skogster, Skogster. Yes. Uh, um, I don't know if I would call myself that. I have a question. What's up? Um, I got a question that I want Iraq to ask you. Okay, cool. What is your favorite part about being in the studio? In my home studio or at the sanctuary studio? That's a both. Good, both. Both. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Yes. So in the home studio, both, it's like both the, the of them. Of, both of them. I'll start with the home studio. The home studio is like the freedom both of them. having enough time to like sit there and flesh out what I want to do, you know, and uh, just like cooking up by myself and. Uh, <laughs> I'm just reading Keezy's comment, and I'm like, bro. But uh, I'm sorry. I won't let I won't let the ADD it get in the midst of a- a- answering your question. Back to the question. Okay, back, back, back to back. the question. Favorite part of being in the studio. So at, <laughs> at home, it's like when I'm cooking up a beat, or like I find a sample, and like I I get in that flow state where I'm like, oh, these lyrics are sounding really good. And like, I can already picture the melodies in my head and I'm just like, you know, ready to record it. And there's no time restriction, like, you know, in the home studio. So I can sit with it for a minute, do something else, uh, come back to it. Uh, but I like to finish my songs in like one session and then mix it over a couple days. And uh, my favorite part about being in the studio. I like studio, that method. I like that method. 
my favorite part about being in the stew stew is just being with the boys, the creative energy we're all sharing and all the jokes and laughs and gags and hoo ha's and you know, all that, all that John right there. Uh, and then we, and then my guitar is actually that I bought in the fifth grade is at the studio. And uh, that's nice to see that, you know, like being put to use instead of me, cause I never learned how to play it. So <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. I mean, you're swimming through a sea of greatness, so you'll reach the guitar at some point. So that's the way I see it. Thank you, Mike. Eventually, I'll get there. Eventually, I'll get there. It's a side quest. It is a side quest at this point, for sure, for sure. And a little fun note, uh, I never actually learned music theory. So uh, I can make my own melodies from scratch and stuff like that. But uh, I just kind of learned to make a chord and what the chords do and the notes and what notes go together. And I just kind of got an ear for it, you know? That's lit. He's, he's up and doing on talent. Motherfucker, I like my study. Oh my God. Makes it yeah. a different day he is a vibe for sure. Cause like you get to like sit on it and you can come back to it with fresh ears. JCP <laughs> theory over music theory. This is hilarious. Uh, that is the yes. best comment of the yes. day. Uh, if you follow my yes. Instagram and you tell me you left this comment, I will mail you a sticker for the best comment of the day. I do like that comment. Um, oh, damn. Just take a screenshot and send it. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now that we just showed one song, asked about two questions. Did you guys want me to show jewelry? No, we he wants to do it in the bag next. Yeah, in the in bag. My bag. Okay. In my bag. In my bag. Okay. In All right. Before bag. we show everybody in the bag, tell us a little bit about in the bag. Yeah. So I remember I was messing with this producer uh like on YouTube. I had just found him and I had like joined his Discord that he had just made. And I was looking through his beats. And he had this beat that was just a cash symbol on it. And I played it. And I like I heard the first like second of the beat. And I just I threw it into FL Studio instantly. And I cooked up in my bag, right? I was like, this is the shit right here. And uh, I remember I made the song. I don't even remember making the song. It was like a flash, right? But I remember the next day I was listening to In My Bag. And I was making a like a shoddy AMV for it, like with gifts and stuff like that. And uh, I was like listening to it and I was like getting stoned. And I was like, bro, this song <laughs> is like insane. Like this song is crazy. Uh, I like I listened to it probably like, I don't know, a hundred times that day just because I was making the edit for it. And you got to like run it back and place the clips and everything. Hundreds of times. This um, I think this is like one of the first songs I heard from you. Like when I first started talking with y'all in the chat with murder worth click and stuff like it was uh because the first song you showed me was dracula and then this was the next big one that i that i heard that you released and shit so right right the song's definitely grown well and aged well and i only curse one time in this song and it's on an ad is it like fine wine mike mike yes. is it like fine wine how did it age well was it seeping through the pores of 1859 merlot yes Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I think we're all ready. If you haven't already, let's share the stream, please. Yeah, and then we're gonna listen to uh in the in my bag, not your bag, not his bag, not her bag, not our bag, in the bag. Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, mute the fuck up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In it. <laughs> hey, Crimson, where you at? Yeah, I'm in my bag, bag. Watch me stack it fast, fast. Picking up the cash, yeah. Then I do my dance. Yeah, I'm in my bag, bag. Watch me stack it fast, fast. Picking up the cash, yeah. Then I do my dance. She just, she just, she just did some scales up off the dash. Put it on the scale and she forgetting how to act. Really smoking on this gas and thinking it's a hovercraft. Thick thigh shorty and she's sitting on my lap. Life game strong, she about. 
about to relapse. Yeah, she bomb with the wind when I get back up on the map. Yeah, I saw me go. I think you just gotta go. Got a tool man with the ratchet and a pole. I got a second phone just for beaming up my bros. RIP the homie, may the Lord bless his soul. Burning holes in my head, I take another toe. I just made a line and I'm not talking about the code. Lately I've been praying till the voice is talking back I might pull up in a caddy, pussy boy won't send the addy Trippy fingers hella chatty, I might end up in a patty Way that I be dripping, understanding why she always grab me Now I'm back, watch me stack it fast Picking up the cash, yeah, then I do my dance Yeah, I'm in my bag, watch me stack it fast Picking up the cash, yeah, then I do my dance Hey Crimson, where you at? I mean, if we're doing this too, that's cool too. You think you know me? Oops. I thought we was going to do flesh Oops. infection. Me too. Like, <laughs> you can't tease us like that. Oops. You That's... think you know me. Oops. <laughs> you eat think eat you know your me. heart out, All right, well, everybody, what you guys, what, did, what, did it fart? Yes, Kizawato. Okay, I didn't pull the trigger fast enough. You freaking, mm. Anyway, um, well, what do we think of and... uh, that one? <laughs> do it fart? He wow, man. What that FL studio be like. So in my bag, what does that mean for you in my bag? Like, really? So JCP's always been in his bag, according to my homie Oscar Locke. And uh, that song uh, and Dracula happens to be about the same kind of re like relationship I was in, at least the, like a couple of the bars in there, not like the whole track, obviously, but like some of the some of the like material in the lyrics uh, is about like, you know, some girl that I used to be with. So uh, we'll. Oh, oh, shoddy. Oh, shoddy. Mm -hmm. But uh in my bag was just kind of like, that I love you, you know that I can't let you go. Like that? Can't <laughs> I'm going on strike for the next 25 seconds. Damn. <laughs> Wait, why? What did I do? <laughs> no, you didn't do anything. I'm just wanted to go on strike. <laughs> oh, okay. What? <laughs> what? Um, if you guys are enjoying uh, Music Monday so far, drop some fart emojis because Kizuwato is dropping farts on us. I actually don't even know. I think a poof. A poof. Um, let's I think see. Fun, fact, I fun, fact, fun fact about In My Bag before we move on. Yeah. That song has gone through at least 25 different you, versions. You're not unionizing and going on a strike in the middle of an interview? What is happening right now? Yes, <laughs> Dean went, Nacho. Fart, 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 fart. Well, Thank uh, you. Homie's got something to Thank say you. real quick. In My Bag went on like 20 oh, different versions before I finished it. And that was actually another instance where my files got deleted. And all I had was the mm, MP3 of damn. the original recording. And I mixed and mastered it dozens of times, literally. And I finally threw it through the SoundCloud mixer and then like boosted the trebles a little bit. And I was like, oh yeah, this is sick. Because originally when the song released, it had a longer intro with the drums and like a reverb slowed down version. Mm -hmm. And then I took, I, it was on Spotify and SoundCloud. I took the intro off of the song and updated the file and people were commenting like bro didn't this song used to be longer like then wasn't there an intro to this song and I, I just never i never touched on that but like there yeah there used to be an intro for in my bag and uh it's gone now forever okay damn r.i.p r.i.p present peace all right i got a question for you jcp in the cut all right what yes, is the wildest experience you had while recording 
Ooh, this is a good story. So I was on a like two or three day bender. I think it was my homie's birthday. Bender on what? Just alcohol, bro. Birthday alcohol, bender. Alcohol, 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 weed, and cigarettes. You know, well, here's I mean. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a bad man. boy. I'm not a bad boy. Just a little bit of tips cigarettes on cigarettes. <laughs> Ooh, he called her for it. Okay, continue, continue, con- continue, though. Continue, continue though. Continue though. All right, all right, all right. So we were recording music, drinking, and uh, we had gone to McDonald's to get chicken sandwiches because it was the new spicy chicken sandwich from uh, McDonald's. And uh, this is just one of the moments we had in this recording session. Wait, what did but you get? I was McDonald's? driving. Just spicy chicken sandwiches. I like how you say sandwiches. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. I like how you say sandwiches. Okay, bet, bet, bet. And uh, we we're driving. I was driving, actually. I was like DD, but like not really because like, you know, do not drink and drive, please. For the love of God, don't do it. Yeah. But no. I, was a, I, was a little, I was a little twisted and uh, I was pulling out of the McDonald's drive through and there was no way to turn left, right? And because there's a divider in the street and the light was green going, taking a left out of this McDonald's. So I drove into like the oncoming lane traffic and just skirted into like the regular lanes. And then we went back to recording and uh, my friend kept pouring alcohol on me on accident, like the whole night, like the whole time we were together. He kept like- How do you do that? How do you pour alcohol somebody on accident? That's not an accident. Would you guys say that's an accident? Probably not knowing that guy. Okay, let's do you a favor and let's say, Mike, uh, Irek, you sound muted. I didn't hear what you said. So he was just splashing you all night? Pause. Oh, damn. (laughs) But we were recording and I kept having to be like, Yo, oh, oh, I remember what it was. We were hotboxing this tiny ass room with cigarettes and weed. And I was like, yeah, let me hit the <laughs> cigarette. And uh, I was like, I got to throw up right now. And so I went outside and I threw up. And then I came back inside and I was like, sorry, guys, got to go throw up again. Ah, and then uh, after like people third- pour champagne on your purpose. <laughs> when you she break- froze up. She froze up. Look at her go. She said, <laughs> <laughs> but she got the dunk on somebody. Damn. So, like the third or fourth time I came in after throwing up, they're like, dude, you don't have to tell us. Just go outside and puke. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. But eventually we started fighting. I don't know what, like, with, with puke like, feast? No, no, no. Like, we were fighting. We were like, they, they just started swinging on me because we were standing in the other room, the bigger room in the basement. Did and you get puke on them? No, no, no puke, no puke. I threw up on them niggas. This was like the next day at that point. And my one home, my, it was me and two homies fighting. And they were like both fighting me. We're like swinging fists. I'm throwing elbows. And then, and then my friend is like, yo, throw that elbow again. Like, uh, I can dodge it. I can dodge it. And then uh, I threw the elbow and he dodged it. And my like older, more responsible homie is like, yo, I've seen this before. Don't throw that elbow. I've seen this. I've seen this. And I th- I knew I trusted him to dodge it. So he dodges it. And we're just scrapping. We're just fighting. And I'm getting into it. I'm 1v2. I'm literally 1v2. Bow, bow, bow. Like fighting them both off. And I know my one friend is a boxer. So mm. I'm like, I knew, I knew like, you know. He, he got the hands. Like, yeah, he was. But he's going easy on me. I could tell he was going easy on me. But. I, I clash with my other friend and I had this Inuyasha necklace on, right? Hold and on, what what is, is it like a pendant with Inuyasha head? Like what, no, what's no, on you, it? You know, it's like beads. It's like beads in the little fangs. You know the. Oh that, that, that yeah, 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 it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was that necklace. Oh, that's, so it's got that's like cool. a bunch of black beads and like the little fangs and stuff on it. But okay. It, it it exploded. Was it a like, rosary? It just, it just it just blew up. And the beads went everywhere. The beads went everywhere. And we stopped Whoa. and looked at each other and we're like, what just happened? And, we, and then that's when the, the fighting stopped after like five or 10 minutes of just like brawling. And we we're like, that was crazy. And 
I woke up the next day on my friend's couch and his his girlfriend's kids were like in my face and they were like magic magic and then i went downstairs and then his girlfriend is like did you tell my kids that your name was magic and i was like no at no point did i say that so that's how i got the nickname magic and it was just really random because like these kids just were saying it out of the blue like there was no reasoning for them to say this my only guess is because i was wearing my green and blue pumas the whole time because i have mismatched pumas Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing that I can like put together in that like sequence. But yeah, that's really the craziest experience I had while recording. Like we're just fighting all of a sudden because for whatever reason, when people get drunk, they want to either teach you how to fight or like mock fight, you know, like scrim fight, you know, like slap, oh, slap box, slap box. Slap, yeah. Slap box and type B. Mm -hmm. Slap box and hurt feelings. <laughs> Ego crushed. So that was a bit of a long-winded story, but I think it was well deserved. How y'all feeling on going 5150 next? 5150, let's do that. Dahlia. She Dahlia. Like she, she's looking like she lost. Dahlia, find yourself. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Hi. Wake up. Hi. One second. One second. Uh, one one mm -hmm. one second, Tito. Where where did the Music song Monday go? Monday is brought to you by Stay Woke or Not Coffee, the hardest beans in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, thank you, thank you for my commercial break. Uh, wait, where 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 is the song? Spotify. Okay, here Dro it is. Drop that link, Shadi. Oh, you found it. Okay, sweet. Spotify. Wait, wait, which album is it? Yeah, I'm here. In the cut, out in the cut, volume one. Oh, right there on the right. Yep. It's all the way at the bottom. Ready, guys? Oh, okay. You know what? Okay, so I want to share a little bit of a story that me and JCP had before this. Um, now that I know you, so for for stay woke or not, we talk about music Monday and woke wellness Wednesday, which is a mix about music as well as neurodivergence. Um, I am bipolar type one. And my brother was schizophrenic and passed away from fentanyl and then my mom of a heart attack. But not about me. What I love is that you and I shared that moment talking about 5150 and what that means. And, you know, for anybody that deals with mental illness, we are absolutely here to advocate your own care and your own creativity in creating the world that you want to live in um, by making music, to share these moments, to engage with each other and really show support for your craft. That's what Music Monday is about. And I want to say that now. We've done over 35 episodes. And for anyone that is new here, that is what we do here. So whether you cop a beanie or a hoodie or a net gator or a mug or a cup of coffee, it would mean a lot to me uh, because I create this environment that we can share each other's work. Um, so to know that I wanted to make a 5150 track, and I'll just, I'll just do the hook because it ain't out yet. I'm on Spotify just like everybody else. But... For my version of 5150, and I want to hear yours because mine's not out there. I didn't finish it, okay? I'm just talking my shit. But for 5150, it would be like 5150. Ain't, if you ain't never been, you never gonna know. I got my twisted ass souls and my sisters, I let them know. And then it would go crazy, right? But I want to hear your version of 5150. So the fact that you and I had that in common, uh, that... That hits me um, differently because I would say, one, yeah, I, I interviewed. We're both bipolar one. I am hey, too. The fact that we're both, hey, I'm on vacation. I'm kind of loosey in my brain. No vacation. Okay, I so let's get fifty-one fifty up in this bitch. If you haven't already, share the motherfucking stream. Okay.
Bitch, you ass beat the lips, get the shit busted. Yeah, I popped the pillies with my motherfucking gun, fuck it. Now I'm in the streets with the freak, I'm a geek out. Yeah, I go crazy, boy, bitch, fucking top, top. Bitch, you ass beat the lips, get the shit busted. Yeah, I popped the pillies with my motherfucking cousin. Now I'm in the streets with the freak, I'm a geek out. Yeah, I go crazy, boy, bitch, fucking top, out. Yeah, they always ask me if I say strap. Yeah, I say it like me and Becky in the crowd. Girl, bitch, call me like Becky in the drops. Yeah, you a I'm two two parts with two two sides. Fuck a bad bitch, while I'm sipping on the fucking dark. I don't want the funny shit. Bitch, I own ten bad. I don't know why you fucking bad. Bitch, I'm on the shit. I'm on the nonsense. I'm on the going fucking crazy. All the shit that I'm making, I don't make a fucking happy. All my haters try to raise me, so I hit them with a crazy. I'm switching up all bitches, so I just get to that fucking house. Let's get the shit busted. Yeah, I caught the pillies with my motherfucking motherfucking. Now I'm in the streets with the freak. I'm a geek out. Yeah, I go crazy, boy, bitch, fucking top top. Yeah, they always ask me if I say strap. Yeah, I said it might be a Becky in the trap. Little bitch, I'm like Becky in the trap. Yeah, you a little hoe, yeah, you in your bag. Two two box with two two sides. Fuck a bad bitch, while I'm sipping on the fucking dark. Yeah, I'm with the funny shit, bitch, I own ten bad. I like that bounce in that shit. Never miss. Never miss. Yeah, that song is I quite want special Bravo, to me. If you ain't never been, you never gonna never know. Gonna know. I like my twisted ass sisters and they got enough stuff. That's my shit. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, tell me about 5150. Where were you mentally? What do you think it did for you? Um, and I guess that can go into a different question I have. Um, oh, Lord. You know what? I can't find the damn question. I know I have it in here. It's in here. Oh, and how, yeah, I guess what would you say that you have and how do you manage it and how does your bipolar type one come into making music? So we're answering this question first? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, uh, what mental illness would you say you have and how do you manage? Uh, so I'm bipolar type one, as I kind of briefly mentioned. But I also struggle with uh, like schizoaffective, uh, PTSD, and anxiety. Uh, and that's all like stemming from the bipolar. So uh, I manage by taking my medication every single day, you know, and uh, I meditate, uh, you know, take, take deep breaths. If anyone knows me, the sixth breath, you know what I mean? You know, like the meditation of the deep full inhalation of the lungs. Uh, uh, and I try to stay away from substances and alcohol. Um, and I try to just stay grounded and drink you know, water, drink water. Yeah. And close to myself. Eating healthy Sponsored by LaCroix. <laughs> eating healthy and drinking water is a large portion of the battle because yeah. without, without, uh, wholesome eating and wholesome living you can't manage your mental health either yeah no. it throws your chemicals in your brain off whack from eating mm -hmm. all that processed stuff or like stuff that has extra additives and shit so yeah yeah cook for yourself that too ladies and gentlemen also jcp is also a cook but too. I, think, I, mean, I remember i remember uh my bad uh well, I remember there was a time where like I was on stream with him. He was mixing a track for me. And then like he was making a pizza in the background. Dude's a <laughs> dude's a chef. Dude's a chef. Yeah, that happened like five times in a row. Every time, every time I was talking to Mike, I was making a pizza. Yes. Just like religiously? Yeah, I don't know. It was just a coincidence, but it was just happened to be one of those coincidences. Mm. And then I logged in. I logged in with Mike one day. And we were locked in and he was like, are you making a pizza right now? And I was like, no, actually, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so can, I, can I just mention something? Because I'm a I live alone with my dog and I'm glad you said cook for yourself. And I think that takes a certain level of self-care. 
to Absolutely. actually be like, no, I'm not going to do fast food. I know that it's easy. I'm going to lay low. I'm not going to expend my expenses. You know what I mean? And actually sit down and take the time for you. I think it's difficult for people because you're used to cooking for multiple people, right? You're used to like doing that. So I just said cooking for yourself. And saying that you're worth the time and the energy it takes to add the olive oil in the pan and let it sizzle with the whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? I think that's very important to say that uh, if he's not cooking beets for himself, he's cooking treats for himself. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Self care is so okay. important in this day and age. Self care is so well, who important. Who is the best rapper? Who is it? Who is the best rapper? JCP in the cut. Let's go. MF Doom. Yes. You know what? This okay, past guys, weekend. I, don't ask me any questions about MF Doom, though, because I can't answer them. I, I was just gonna, if you ask me a question about <laughs> MF Doom, I'm going on strike for 35 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> Not again. No. Don't go on strike. Another strike on a talk show? I've never heard this in my life. I've never had anyone strike against me. I have given you everything, JCP, everything. What? What? All right, just answer the fucking question. Just answer the question. That was said MF Doom. MF Doom. That's, that's, yeah. It's the first person who popped in my mind. I could have had the special edition Danger Danger Doom or Danger Mouse. Yep. I could have had it with like the super fit. And then my, my wife was like, get it, get it, get it. I was like, it's an investment. I was like, Bro, it's Sorry. so beautiful. Sorry. It costs 50 bucks. I was like, damn. I, I disagree. Idea and abilities. Idea. Idea all day. Idea. All day. Idea. Idea. Born album. Idea. 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 It's idea, idea and abilities. Idea. 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 Yeah, not idea. Uh. Idea. Idea. Sorry. Sorry. I'm I'm a I'm an idea okay. fan okay. too. So I had to correct you. Rest in peace, Michael Larson. Rest in peace to the greats, okay? Are we ready to listen to more greatness from JCP in the cut? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to yeah, say yeah. It. Where the comments at? Where you at right now? Where is you? Where is you? Where's the commentos? There's someone okay. out there stranded. What's next? I forgot. I'm going back in. Is it jewelry? Yes. Is it jewelry? Jewelry. Yeah, yeah jewelry. jewelry. Okay, mi gente que no te sabes inglés, una otra cuenta para ustedes. Como se dice, jewelry. If you don't have it, you can listen to it and pretend you have it. Fire um, el gato. I don't really know what this song is about. Do you want to premise what jewelry is about? <laughs> okay, gato pantalones in the booty. In the booty. We're in the cut right now. In the booty. In the cut. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, jewelry. Uh, you got anything to say, or should I just play it? Hanelman. Okay, you lost your chance. Hanelamente. With some jewelry that I got up out the freezer And my Nina hot and ready Cause I got the dough on Betty Me be gleaming, holding steady I be scheming, they be petty I be dreaming about the Becky All my bitches be gross petty Bitch, I pull up with some jewelry that I got up out the freezer And my Nina hot and ready Cause I got the dough on Betty Me be gleaming, holding steady I be scheming, they be petty I be dreaming about the Becky All my bitches be gross petty Hold up, blow it away Catch me smoking, tells me dang Sauce be flowing through my Chakras open, you can't hang. We are not the fucking same land. We don't switch it neck game. She got stupid neck game. We don't got a bet, man. Pressure till I rest, man. Say it, we on chest. Plain and clear. Not an obstacle out here. Never fearing as I steer. I'm a magician, pimping bitches. Mind your business. When you wish it for forgiveness, I'll be killing till you finish. I'll be flipping like a gymnast. JCP, the young one who's too damn ambitious. Imagine, that's a bad bitch in your mansion. I'm spazzing, picking up some traction. You lacking, you capping, but I'm.
passing, I'll be laughing. Coming off this gas, man, it make me asthmatic. Imagine, that's a bad bitch in your mansion. I'm spazzing, picking up some traction. You lacking, you capping. When I'm passing, I'll be laughing. Coming off this gas, man, it make me asthmatic. Drip, 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 drip. Look, yeah, you know I got it with a bitch reaching for my wallet. Y'all in debt like I fell down in college. Mad at the shots we call it squad ballin'. It's so cold, got it season like folly. While we talking, y'all window shopping. Follows flocking at the gawky, clocking me. Pick what I'm rocking, keep a girl like a stocking. Not cool, your stock dropping. Holla at me like I can't hear that noise. Sounds like a bunch of pitches walking. Who you talking to, boy? Imagine me, I got a bad bitch in the mansion. I Make it happen, picking it up with y'all lacking. Imagine, got a bad bitch in your mansion. I'm laughing, picking up some traction. Y'all can't be just lacking. When I pass it, I be spassing. Tripping up some gas up higher than the exit. Imagine, got a bad bitch in your mansion. I'm laughing, picking up some traction. Y'all can't be just lacking. When I pass it, I be spassing. Tripping up some gas up higher than the exit. Bitch, I pull up with some jewelry that I got up out the freezer. And I need a hot and ready, cause I got the dough on Betty. Be me gleaming, holding steady. I be scheming, they be petty. I be dreaming about the Becky. All my bitches be gross petty. Bitch, I pull up with some jewelry that I got up out the freezer. And I need a hot and ready, cause I got the dough on Betty. Be me gleaming, holding steady. I be scheming, they be petty. I be dreaming about the Becky. All my bitches be gross Oh, uh, he's like, not me. <laughs> oh, not me. I got that thrift store drip. Uh, I, I want to I wanna say something about this particular song. I remember like when y'all dropped this one and like you had all of these like baddie in influencers just like posting the shit in their story and their posts and shit <laughs> like that. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that was that was that was a win for y'all. I was just like, okay, they got baddies reposting the song. I'm not mad. Not that, mad. Yo, that shit was crazy. I was like, who's these bitches? <laughs> so fire, bro. <laughs> when, I, when before that song even had I rec on the feature, I played it for an older gentleman, and he instantly got up out of his seat and started crip walking. <laughs> <laughs> He just started, he started getting down. That shit funny. All right. If That's you guys like haven't already and ahead. you guys enjoy Music Monday, do me a favor. Follow us on the IG. I'd really greatly appreciate that. Um, all right. We only got like 12 minutes left, SA. What are we going to do, homie? Okay. What is the next song? Uh, Dracula. I believe you already kind of somewhat told me. Dracula. Drag, or it was it cigarettes? No, it was cigarettes first. Cigarettes. Cigarettes, and then Dracula. Shout out, shout Cigarette. out the homie right, well, Rembrandt. Well, shout out the homie Rembrandt. He made the beat yep. for this song. Shout out to Rembrandt. All right. Uh, this is a user submitted question from Teague FPS. Sorry if I said it wrong. Would you rather be bitten by poisonous snakes for the rest of your life and it's painful forever, or have ten million dollars turn but turn into a parakeet so you can't spend it? Oh, I'll leave that on screen. Question. What a question! That's crazy. I got that screenshotted. That's a wild ass question. So, send me the screenshot. I got I you. I want to live vicariously through screen. I got you. I would rather have. I took a screenshot. Too. I would rather have okay. ten million dollars, depending on who's giving it to me. So, if it's a homeless man in the street uh -huh. giving me ten million dollars, and you could give me the ten million dollars, I could have ten million dollars right now, and I would have ten million dollars. Therefore, if I was a parakeet, I'd be balling. I would be. I would be literally. <laughs> Wait, what? Jeff, I would be. I would be the <laughs> Jeff Bezos of the parakeet club. <laughs> Wait, went all the way left. 
That shit was wild. You I'd took rather me on a journey. Be a I'd rather be a parakeet with 10 mil in my pocket. I guess I'm on a fly, but I don't know where to put the blah, 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 blah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Uh -huh. All right. Put in a bird. Put in a bird in the comment, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies yeah, Ms. Greg, and gentlemen, if you could just friend. drop a yeah, bird Ms. in the Greg, comment, I know that friend. you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Greg, you so much. Greg, Greg, yeah, Ms. Greg. Okay, that's not the question, though. I asked you a totally different question, but I forgot the question. Did you ask me a question? Okay, actually, actually, no, mira, es un pregunta para ustedes. Si quieres saber todo, dile, por favor, así. What keeps you creating? I got this little fire inside of me that we all have, and it tells me that if I don't create, mm -hmm. then I have no purpose. Mm. Mm. It's that simple, but that deep. Because mm. it's inside of you. It's not inside something I can change. It's not something I can change. Are you a phoenix? Yeah. He's like, he says, it's just a part of me. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's like, okay, it's like, you know how in Avatar The Last Airbender, he was telling Sokka to not extend the sword as a weapon, but as a part of his body? That's how yeah. it is for me. I feel so, mu so music essentially is your dick. Fuck <laughs> yeah, brother. Another way, I've heard <laughs> another way I've heard music described at an open mic night was where cows and the music is our milk that that just generated a very awkward conversation between the crowd members <laughs> so like you you lit you drink it you listening to my milk yes. my milk is going inside <laughs> of you <laughs> <laughs> through your orifice damn that's crazy <laughs> Oh man! Through your orifices, you got you have more than us. We are. We should do. All Dracula. right. So, can you tell we me a little bit Dracula. about cigarettes? Let, let what are we doing? So are we doing cigarettes, cigarettes first or or Dracula? Cigarettes. It's, it's, yeah, it was in the in the chat, but it's, yeah, let's do let's whatever do JCP right, wants to do. Right. Uh, let's let's uh. Do Dracula. 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 Okay. Where do I find that? Oh, you probably can just type in JCP Dracula. I don't see it. Yeah, just type in JCP Dracula. Here it is. It's in chat. It's Got in it. chat. Okay, uh, okay, what do you sure. want to tell us about Dracula? So, Dracula is a breakup song that I made before the breakup. Oh, and it's is. essentially me talking about uh, the fact that I didn't need this person and that it'll be better for the both of us. I can respect that. Okay. All right, All right, so Dracula. Let's mute up. Ready? Mute up. Oh. No audio, Dahlia. No audio. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're, but it's not playing. It's not playing. Refresh your screen. Okay. Oh, you can press the link in the chat. Mm -hmm. Chat link. Links in the chat. The chat. The 
private chat. Private chat. Look there. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing right. it right now. It's not playing. I'm playing it. Damn. R.I.P. R.I.P. Dude, I told you guys. Yeah. You you even clicked the link in the chat? Yeah. Damn, bro. There's like there's like nah, no one's listening to Dracula. No one's listening. No one mute this bitch. Does any nobody's other... listening? What was the next one? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Where did it go? Just type in uh, IREX or JCP cigarettes. If it don't play on mine, I blame your Spotify. Yeah, there, there yep. it is. That's crazy. Ah, my internet knew what I wanted. We've been shut down. Damn. Damn, girl. Somebody. There's got to be a way around this. We've been compromised. Did you reload Spotify? Like, refresh the site? I'm finna just give you a SoundCloud link, girl. Keep yeah. it all the way. Keep it all the way hood, gutter, trill. Y'all want that Dracula? We sell Dracula and Dracula accessories. JCP. Oh. This is a banger. This is a certified hood classic. Try that. Try that, Shouty. In the chat, Shouty. Dahlia. In the chat, Shouty. Where'd you find this? Fuck with your boys. Does it play? If it's not, it's your, it's your, it has to be your computer. Oh, what happened? It worked? Don't day. Don't day. It's not playing on the... I blame your internet provider. I blame it on the spectrum. Could you guys I... not hear it or something? It was playing yeah, we, the whole we time. Yeah, we just don't. We don't hear it. You're, like play, you're playing it. I'm just like... Like we don't hear that uh, motherfucker. All right. What about now? Yeah. I can hear. Okay. Yeah, okay. we're hearing now. Everybody, this is Dracula. Let's mute up, please. Let's go. Not running up checks, just running up problems. I cannot solve them. Little bitch suck me up, Dracula. How can I even be mad at you? Tear me apart and then patch it up. Blaming it all on the meds. I take that shit straight to my head. Laying me down in my bed. Now I just try to forget. Watch me dip. Fuck a bitch. I don't miss. I don't get how you're in my mind again. Tell myself not to trip. Cause I know what you'll tell me with those lips. Write a text on his scent. Thinking that this is the end. Yeah. I know you don't want it, but still give it time. You know you don't want me, just let me by. Cutting the string, then you leave me behind. How are you supposed to be fine? No, all these problems are mine. Watch me dip, fuck a bitch. I don't miss, I don't get how you're in my mind again. Tell myself not to trip, cause I know what you'll tell me with those lips. Write a text on his scent, thinking that this is the end, yeah. 
I know you don't want it, but still give it time. You know you don't want me, just let me by. Cutting the string, then you leave me behind. How you supposed to be fine? All these problems are mine. Not running up checks, just running up problems. I cannot solve them. Little bitch suck me up, Dracula. How can I even be mad at you? Tear me apart and then patch it up. Blaming it all in the meds. I take that shit straight to my head. Laying me down in my bed. Now I just try to forget. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah. Can we get cigarettes real quick, though? Yeah. And Paul Malls of Parliaments. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nigga, so I'm gonna get some Newports. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you spicy spice! Why is it just spicy spice? All right, here we go. It's a lot, Bodie. Tell us about cigarettes. Tell me. Cig cigarettes on cigarettes. JCP. So cigarettes is uh, a metaphor in this song, but also a literal application uh, of a time I was smoking a lot of cigarettes and uh, in a relationship that I had a lot of like um, weird like attachment things going on. And so I just knew I had to like, you know, the whole point of the song is like, you know, I'm so addicted to this, but I know I got to like put it down. I got to get it out my chest. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I remember Rembrandt posted the beat on YouTube and sent a link to us and I heard it and I went and recorded to it. And I was like, I need I wreck on this. I need I wreck on this. And uh, I had extended it for him but the beat was a little too extended. So in like the final cuts of the song, I wreck and his wife shout out, uh, decided that we should cut the song length down a little bit cause it was a little bit too long, but it's also kind of a shout out to, uh, uh, the popular, uh, you know, cigarettes on cigarettes, mm -hmm. uh, motherfucking, uh, What's the song by uh, Chance the Rapper? I know what you're talking about. I... This, you, yeah, it's like all my burn holes in my hoodies, all my homies think and stink. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's a little, it's a little nod to that song, and you know, did it in our own way. It's a little bit more of a melancholic, darker vibe, but you Definitely. know, with some with some witty bars from both of us, we're both kind of got some nice little rhyme schemes in there. But let's let it roll. Yeah, Cocoa Butter Kisses. Thank you, Jose. Cocoa Butter Kisses. Yep, killed it. Cocoa Butter Kisses. All right, let's get into it. You ready? Ready. Cigarettes on cigarettes, trying to get this out my chest. Got a bitch I put to rest, sick of all this wicked stress. My homies trying to see me blast. I'm a mess, I'm a wreck. Sorry that it's complicated on this beat. I'm playing, waiting for a paycheck. Nicky that I'm smoking on. Relationship is going strong. Take it to the dome. Often pain don't last me long. As long as I keep talking, smoking on this shit, I'm rolling lately. Never focus, thinking about the voices that just haunt me. All the choices. Is oh so daunting. What if she don't really want me? But I got naked, I got sticky. Hit a flip, that's a sex trick. It. Feeling okay, long as she with me. Inhaling deep within my lungs, making me feel numb. Match the problems, now I'm done. Now I'm numb. Cigarettes on cigarettes, trying to get this out my chest. Got a bitch I put to rest. Sick of all this wicked stress. My homies trying to see me blessed. I'm a mess, I'm a wreck.
trying to get this on my chest. Got a bitch I put to rest. Sick of all this wicked stress. Cigarettes on cigarettes. Trying to get this on my chest. Got a bitch I put to rest. Sick of all this wicked stress. Cigarettes. Cigarettes on cigarettes, trying to get this out my chest. Got a bitch I put to rest, sick of all this wicked stress. Talking wicked out my chest, tired, been avoiding rest. I admit I lied when I said she was the best. I confess now, but when I think back to the sesh before sex, shawty was a mess, mixing brown and white. He rather have some dimes with me down to do some lies quick. He's light as stick. Hit it one more time. Addicted to the grind. When she popped it, that moment stuck in my mind. She got me in the grind. Boys make a play for it when we argue all the was on the shelf, cigarettes, so cigarettes, trying to get this out my chest, got a bitch I put to rest, sick of all this wicked stress, cigarettes, so cigarettes, trying to get this out my chest, got a bitch I put to rest, sick of all this wicked stress, cigarettes. Are you burning holes in your sweater? I guess I forgot how to live so better. I guess I got cigarettes, got holes in it, I need it in my sweater. You guys, Music Monday has been absolutely lit with JCP in the cut. I rake Savage and Mike Familiar, if you guys don't already Thank know. You, I'm part of a, an amazing a collective uh, Music Monday. I think this was a, a good time. What do you think? Absolutely. It was wonderful being here. Um. And then uh, just to let you guys know, if you haven't already, definitely check out the website. Uh, we got merch. We got dog hoodies, purple, black, neon, yellow, magnet stickers. I'm going to be performing with Check the Star very soon, and I'm going to be a vendor at their next event. So if you guys are in the Los Angeles area, I will have a lot of things on the table that you can grab for yourself. Um, I don't know. Where did it go? Hell yeah, I'm about to go buy Where's me a beanie. Yes, or two. Because I love Heck beanies yeah. and I love your bucks. beanies. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you for being a part of Music Monday. Um, I think the beanies are a really good price. You know, I am not making all that much, but uh definitely they're a fun little stable piece. Everyone asks about people go crazy. Well, just look at it. It's so, so far. Since you guys tuned in and you got a little is. bit of tag. In Music Monday. That Wi Fi is not Wi Fi. Or not. Damn, disconnected in the ethers, yo. Yeah. You you literally Say, been well, like screenshotting not. yourself. The cut. I'm not. I'm not. JCP in the cut. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You can find me at all platforms at JCP in the cut. Murderworth click. Murderworth click. Deuces. April yes. takeover. Baby. MWC. Okay, guys. We ended the stream. Let's do it. Still, still live. Going. Still live. <sighs> Why is my internet being still alive? We still alive, y'all. Still alive. It's alive. I only know on Facebook Marketplace for 300 over by where I live. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Stay Woke or Not. It's this okay has been Music Monday, those. and we'll see you, you know, buy next Monday. Time. We're still alive. Like I said, over by where I live in Hollywood. You're still, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're still alive. Fuck.